Hey everybody, Dorian here, and this is the sixth time I've done this take. Uh, today we're going to be talking about just the past year and some goals I had set a year ago, and some goals for this next future year, um, and just some general things about the channel. So first up, uh, I'm going to start off by saying, the reason I do this is because for me, I don't really identify for lack of a better word, with New Year's being the beginning of a year, because I was born in May, so by the time, you know, half the year was over when I was born, um, and so it always kind of feels weird to do, like, New Year's resolutions and shit, so I kind of do them on my birthday. I do them every year that I've been alive, you know, I've been alive another year, here's some goals for the next year. So I did a video, um, and set some goals a year ago that I wanted to meet in this next year of my life and on YouTube and things like that and I'm gonna go over what those were because a lot of you guys weren't here um, also just go over you know some general things about myself and the channel and where I want to be in the next year where I want to go with this with this life so there's three things I really wanted to do this year um, and the first was meet some other content creators meet some other people who work on YouTube work on twitch who, who do that kind of stuff uh, because for so long in this community I didn't really have anything like that I tried reaching out to other youtubers I tried reaching out to other people on it it was just sometimes it was weird sometimes it wasn't sometimes things would just fall through and it was it, it felt a very transactional for a while and I wanted someone I could do collabs with and, and, and interact with and talk about YouTube things with and just that kind of stuff in general and um, as far as that has gone, it's kind of exploded, to be completely honest. Um, this time last year, I didn't know anybody who did YouTube. Uh, I knew there was people out there who did YouTube, uh, but no one really interacted with me. I was kind of just like, there's this whole world of YouTube out there, and I have my little pocket, and I do my thing. And in this last year, it's really exploded. I've met not only people from outside of my state that do YouTube, but a lot of people in my state who are starting to do YouTube, and I'm really excited about that I'm really proud of that so a lot of this stuff started happening around January I would say around January is where I really started meeting some people uh, I met Alex Cooper uh, well I already had Alex Cooper on YouTube but like we didn't really like talk about doing any work together and it's really difficult because he lives in England and it's seven hours away um, and we still haven't been able to actually organize a time where we can make a video together um, but you know we talk and, and it's nice it's a nice uh, rapport uh, same with Little Red Speaks and Corey Hu um, me, just meeting other content creators uh, is it's it's really helped this go along because it's like I'm not doing this I'm not the only one doing this I'm not the only one having the same struggles or doubts or fears that everybody everybody on YouTube has and may not speak about openly the other thing is there's a lot of people in my own community in my own area that are picking it up or have been doing it for a little while who I didn't realize or who had just started and it's really nice to see that happening and be able to like talk with them especially uh, like my friend at Star Trader um, does a lot of YouTube videos um, on Star Wars and has this entire vlog I think I've gone over it in StarTrader.com and uh, he's been doing really well and he's been growing and it's just nice to see someone I know also in the community we can talk about this kind of stuff with um, and that's something I really longed for a year ago really longed for some kind of sense of being a part of the community to some degree and I really hope that even though like that was my goal and in a big way it's been met I hope that that keeps growing I keep meeting more people and that kind of goes into my second point. Um, my second goal I had this year was to go to more big cons, to go to more conventions where I could actually meet people um, who I didn't already know and meet people who are in this community or, or do something that is creative and get to know them. So even though I haven't really gone to any big cons yet, uh, I have a busy, busy lineup this year starting what, next month, three weeks, uh, as far as conventions. So technically, like, yeah, no, I didn't meet this goal this year, but I have it all basically set up, right? The main cons I wanted to go to, and I thought this was a pipe dream because I didn't think, I didn't see any way of getting in, um, was E3, AX, PAX Prime, BlizzCon. Those were the big four, and I think I missed BlizzCon. Um, I just, I just missed BlizzCon. But... I'm going to E3 in three weeks and don't know how the fuck. I didn't expect them to release 
you know, exhibition tickets to the public, uh, but they did. So fucking jumped on that. I'm mean, going to E3, um, which has been something I've wanted to do for a very long time because it's fucking E3. Um, and the other one, AX, uh, I'm going to in July. Uh, I've been wanting to go to AX for like six years. And then PAX Prime, I still don't have tickets yet because they're not on sale, but I'm gonna jump on those as soon as I can because I actually have a position in my life now where I'm able to go to these cons. Um, so in a way that goal is in kind of flux, but I think it's it's pretty close to being achieved. Um, especially with E3 and then AX and then if I can get into PAX, I mean BlizzCon's BlizzCon, I just wanted to go. Um, but I'm really excited, I'm really excited to meet new people and outside of the state and really start to build like a network and connections and, and, and friends to be honest. So I'm really excited for that. Um, and then the third goal I had for this year and in all honesty the most important I think to me was I wanted to establish a fan base, like have an actual somewhat active fan base. I didn't even care to what degree. I, I mean, two people would have been enough. Uh, a year ago, I had nothing. I had some people in my life who supported me. I have some friends and don't think I forgot you guys. I haven't, I got a, legit got a list of everybody who's supported me and, and looked out for me and helped me on this journey through YouTube. I really wanted to have that fan base. I really wanted to have a sense of I'm doing something here and other people are seeing it and it's helping other people or they, they enjoy it. And um, I wanted to be a place that people could could come and, and relax and, and enjoy it and just watch a couple videos and get away from whatever, right? And I didn't have that. I didn't have anything. I was getting, you know, three, four views on Let's Plays and um, the only way I could get anyone to watch one of my videos was to post a reaction and that had a very limited interaction with people. Um, and that was, that was the hardest thing for me was not having any fan base, I guess. And in this year, I don't know how, but like we've we've reached that, um, and it's this is the first time since I started doing YouTube. Maybe not the first time. I've had little pocket moments, but that I've really felt like I'm a YouTuber. That I've really felt like I'm doing something here. And for a long time, not having that fan base really messed with my head. I was thinking, you know, I would have those doubts, like, am I really doing something I should be doing? Is this the right path for me? Should I act this way? Should I act that way? And if any of you guys ever watch any of my old videos, or if you go back and watch any of them, you'll see night and day comparison to how I am now. You know, I was trying to, I was trying to be more silky smooth and, and, and PC, and that's not who I am. You know, it's not who I am. And even though I have a lot of those, those beliefs and those morals and, I believe in a lot of these causes, like it's just not how I act, it's just not how I talk. And I thought I couldn't be that person on YouTube and, and, and get anybody to watch. And to a degree, like I still have those fears, but especially since I started streaming and I started actually being able to interact with people who watch my content. Um, you guys know who you are out there, there's, there's this little fam on my streams. Um, and I started thinking about it the other day, how not everybody, but a lot of people I feel who watch my videos regularly or are in my streams regularly, like we all have that, that longing to belong. Uh, I feel very like this kindred connection with a lot of you guys because I feel a lot of you guys don't feel like you belong and don't feel like you have those connections in your real life and the fact that I can at least be some kind of connection to you and have some kind of connection with you and have some kind of you know friendship even even in the dynamic that we have um like it really resonates with me it really resonates with me i look forward every day to hopping on on a stream and, and doing a stream even though i really love recording and editing um i really look forward to hopping on a stream because like i get to see you guys and i get to talk to you guys and i get to laugh with you guys and have a good time with you guys and I hope it's the same. I hope it's a two way. <laughs> That's a mutual feeling. Um, but it's what gives me purpose, you know? That's what gives me purpose is being able to get online and, and at least make your guys' day a little bit more enjoyable. Or if it was already enjoyable, just have fun. And 
have a place where all these people who may not belong in their own lives or may not feel like they belong have a place a safe place where they can come and belong and feel like they belong and not have to worry about what they say or what they think and just be able to be themselves and be welcomed and that's what this channel is that's what i want this channel to be i want it to be what i <laughs> never had growing up a place where i could just be myself and and feel okay and feel welcomed and feel to a degree, and feel loved and that's what i want for you guys and that's what i've wanted this channel to be and it was so hard for me to make these videos and not not feel like i was accomplishing that for anybody and now that i am it's it's i don't know it makes it all worth it and all the struggles and anxiety that i have that i may be doing the wrong thing with my life and that i'm not going to go anywhere you know they all kind of go away when i think about it. even if i don't go anywhere i'm still doing something that makes a difference to some people's lives and that in itself is worth doing um and i'm so glad like i have that i'm so glad i have that with you guys um oh god i almost started crying um so this next year um i have some more ambitious goals this year um i want to really push this channel i want to be able to invest more time and more energy and money into this channel um and it's really hard to do that right now as much as i want to do it i have so many ideas that i want to do and i'm not going to say them now because i'm paranoid about people stealing ideas but um there's a lot of things i want to do on this channel and so i need to have some more ambitious goals so for this year the things i want to do the things i want to achieve so first up i want to be able to grow to a point where I no longer have to work on anything but YouTube. And I'm not talking about making crazy YouTube money like PewDiePie or anything like that. I mean, just enough to live, <laughs> just enough to survive, enough to be able to pay my rent or well, pay my bills and eat without any like extra luxuries. And like, that'll be tough because I have a pretty good job now. I make good money and I can afford a lot of extra shit. Um, but the downside is even with my hours being pretty flexible um it's still really hard to put a lot of time into youtube other than you know the three to five hours i do now in order to do that i need to basically be able to survive to a degree off of just youtube so that's my first goal is to be able to become dependent solely on youtube financially the second is uh, a little more <laughs> ambitious I want to be a guest at a convention. I want to be able to reach a, a point um, of recognition and have a not strong enough fan base that I can go and be a guest at a convention. And that one's a little more just ego, I think. Um, part of it is I want to be able to like go to a convention and have a panel um, or be a guest and be able to just like meet you guys and meet whoever I, becomes fans in the future. Um, and have the interaction in, in, uh, in a con environment, which I've, I've been going to cons for so long that it, it would feel natural. Um, but I understand like you need to be like a certain status for that to even happen. So that's the second goal. Let's see if that one happens. That one's the far-fetched one. That's like the E3 of this year, like the one that I don't think is, is as realistic, but we're still gonna go for it. Um, I forget what the third one was, shit. Yeah, I think that's it. I think it's just those two. I know I had a third one, and I thought about it when I was thinking about, you know, what I wanted to say in this video. And my brain's just blinking on me now, um, so I'm sorry. I'll probably think of it again, and maybe I'll, I'll, I'm not going to make an entire video based on it, because that'd be kind of weird. But uh, maybe I'll post it on Twitter or something like that. I don't know. Um, speaking of... Um, if you don't already follow me on Twitter, make sure to follow me on Twitter because I post a lot of stuff on Twitter about my streams and about what I'm going to be doing with my content, um, as well as just some random shit. But um, make sure you follow me on Twitter at The Dorian Show, just that way you can keep up with updates and stuff like that because YouTube is really hard and they're not the best with notifications. So, like, I, I stream every day at four, but like sometimes, like, I'll stream early, like I did on Memorial Day, and like people don't know. So, uh, with that, that's all I really got. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it's not too long. <laughs> I don't know actually how long I've been talking for. Uh, but 
Thank you guys all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you all in my next video. Later.